Anyway, um, many years ago I went to Spain when I was 14 and I went to a bunch of bullfights in the back of the BW van, <laughs> ate a bunch of chocolate and got really sick, nauseated, just really felt horrible. And um, this woman, Consuela, made me a really strong peppermint tea, just a cup of tea. And it changed my life. It's on my website, actually. Um, I, uh, I felt really, I, I felt a lot better. I believed in alternative healing. I don't know why I was drawn to it. I ended up studying um, aromatherapy, herbs, transformational breath work. My family thought I was really weird. A lot of my friends did too. Uh, and I continued to support alternative healing. Dr. B was probably one of the, f is one of the few doctors who ever really sat and listened to me. And the first time I went to him, I didn't tell him what was wrong or what I knew was wrong. And immediately he said, um, what's up with your neck? Is your neck fused? And I said, no, but I've had a lot of car accidents. And then he said, what's up with your, um, your fallopian tubes? And I said, um, and, he, and they showed me these pictures. I went, that looks like a cervical spine, and that looks like my fallopian tubes in the blood on, on the screen. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> and um, I said, I had a tube ligation after my second son. I don't want any more children. I was a single mom. So life went on. I grew up in Connecticut, where Lyme was discovered, supposedly. Um, I had chronic pain from 19 on, couldn't figure out what it was, went to many doctors, had many tests, nobody could ever find anything. Finally here in Nevada County, I was sent and I came, it was positive with Lyme, but then Harvey said, well, show me, a, 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 what's that test called? What? Western block. Western block. He said, show me anyone who's had that test that doesn't test positive for Lyme. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I know what the hell you're talking about, Harvey, but whatever. So I started getting injections and um, spent a lot of time in the office with Josh. Thank you, Josh. We had Adam, we had Lila. <laughs> and um, I started getting better, but every time I came home from, um, and I was going once a week for a while, every time I came home, my son would be like, oh, you went to Dr. B? And I'd go, yeah, and he'd go, Wee! <laughs> because my, my organs were detoxing and I was really bitchy <laughs> and I was in a lot of pain and I think the line hit my joints I was also a dancer and an aerobics instructor step aerobics instructor for many many years a single parent I did everything I could to make money catered waitress I was on my feet a lot in my life I'm back on my feet again um, but uh, I think they hit the, the spirochetes hit my knees my cartilage and so I've been told I need new knees, but um, I can't do the surgery. I just, in my, in my deepest heart, I cannot do it because I don't want all that scarring. And Dr. B really talked a lot about scarring to me and injected scars. I'd had surgery on my shoulder twice and the tube ligation, so he was always hitting the scars. Um, but, uh, so I live with funky knees. I am now working in the, uh, I've been in the cannabis industry also for a long time. I work at the uh, dispensary Elevation 2477. We have people coming in every day with pain, depression, anxiety. I do a lot of high CBD. I do also THC, but um, mostly high CBD. And Dr. B was okay with me doing my cannabis. Um, but for some reason, I've always been drawn to alternative healing, and diet is a big thing. So, you know, he reminded me, you know, what, what's going on in your life? What are you doing? Josh was always giving me help. What's up, Shelly? You know, you seem kind of cranky today. <laughs> I'm like, I'm under a lot of stress. <laughs> but um, so he just reminded me, and he listened, and uh, I will be forever grateful to him. Um, he changed my life. I don't think I would be here if it wasn't for him because I was really sick when I first walked in that office. I felt like I was dying. And then the die off was happening and I really felt like I was dying. I had to sleep a lot. I couldn't work much. So um, thank you, Dr. B. Thank you, family, for staying together and being such a strong family. Adele.